Hello? I was wondering if you could give me some directions? <laughs> Sorry, uh, my mistake. I'll just be on my way. Hey, what's going on, guys? Priest here with Denim 13 Gaming, and we are here in Fable The Journey for Xbox 360. The fate of Albion is in your hands once again. Your easygoing nomadic life is forever altered when you suddenly become successor to vast and mysterious powers. Set off to uncover the evil that threatens the land as you learn to control your growing magic and bring to bear the power that will decide the future of Albion. Use your hands to quickly craft and wield magic in ways you never dreamed possible. Plunge into deep and immersive gameplay in your journey to save the world in the best looking fable game of all time. Now, unfortunately, some of these statements do not live up to the hype. Fable the Journey is the newest release in the Fable franchise, and it is not by any means the best looking Fable game of all time. But it is definitely a Fable game and looks like one. The graphics are charming and pretty much what you would expect from a Kinect game. Unfortunately, that's not really a compliment. That's also kind of a backhanded insult. Let's talk about what's good about the game. What's good about the game is it looks like a Fable game. It feels like a Fable game. You get to re revisit some of the places that you have fond memories of from the previous games. You get to see some familiar faces such as Teresa and also some familiar enemies like Hobbs and Cave Trolls. And the magical attacks are fun and work extremely well when the Kinect sensor is properly uh, calibrated. Now, unfortunately, that being said, there's more bad about the game than good. You'll find very quickly that the combat is not as much of a primary part of the game as driving your horse and buggy around. The game is meant to be a expansive journey across Albion, but unfortunately what it comes across as is a generic rail shooter where they have stripped the journeying out of the journey. Now, the combat segment you'll find fun, um, but unfortunately, these are the standard rail shooter feel parts of the game. The part of the game that they put in that is supposed to make you feel expansive and like you're journeying in any way you want is unfortunately the riding the horse and buggy around. But sadly that gets old about 30 minutes into the game the uh, the horse buggy does not control as well as the combat which is sad because that's the primary thing that you're gonna do in this game is drive your horse around simple reality is it's a good game it's a fun game if you love fable or you just want to kick back and relax and do nothing that exciting fable might be the game for you if you have kids it probably might be a good game for them um, but it is not to be treated like a legitimate title or entry into the franchise um, magical attacks include bolt and push uh, bolt can be used for destruction and push can be used to knock enemies back and manipulate environments as well as blocking strafing and a numerous uh, accumulation of other little uh, attacks, magical and environmental. But anyway, guys, I'm going to give this game a 2 out of 5. Not impressed.